What's up everybody, Jared back, and this is actually a viewer requested video because I haven't actually done any Galaxy Note 3 modification videos in a while here. And now there's a good reason behind that, folks. Uh, that's actually because development on the Samsung Galaxy Note 3 on all variants is actually quite stunted. You may notice there's no uh, AOSP-based um, ROMs for the Galaxy Note 3. They're all custom stock ROMs. And so as uh, for the purpose of this video, actually, that is actually what I ended up installing is actually the, uh, the T-Mobile uh, um, Samsung Galaxy Note 3 stock firmware with some small modifications, but it's just, I mean, this is basically as stock as it gets, uh, with the exception of it being uh, pre-rooted. Um, that said, what we're going to be doing in this particular video is something that you can actually not only do for your Samsung Galaxy Note 3, but for your Samsung Galaxy S3, your Samsung Galaxy S4, and of course this device here. And we're going to be using the exposed module. Now, in the description below this video, I'll actually have a link directly to the FDA page, and you're going to go ahead and download that file, and it's just a, an, a, an APK file. It's an application that you're going to be doing some side loading with. So before we go ahead and side load, or you download it, Go ahead and pull down that, jump into your um, settings menu uh, in the general tab, jump into security here, scroll down a little bit and make sure that you have unknown sources checked, okay? Uh, once that's done, go ahead and take and hopefully you've, you know, you've put that um, exposed APK somewhere, your internal or external storage. Uh, in my instance, I actually have it on my super handy dandy uh, Minova micro SD to micro USB card adapter here. So let me just uh, get this bloody cap off here. And I'm just going to go ahead and toss that in there. And what we're going to be doing is side loading it. So give it a minute to fire up any moment now. There we go. I'm just going to jump into here. And so basically, I mean, obviously for you guys, you, you're going to have it in a different place because you might not have one of these. You might, I don't know. So anyways, there's the application right there. I'm just going to go ahead and tap on it. Click on install. That'll install it for me. I'm going to go ahead and click on open now. And we're going to jump into framework and that's where you're going to click on install. That's how we install the actual framework itself. It's going to ask you for super user permission. Make sure you grant it. And from this point on, I'm going to go ahead and back out and I'm going to click on download. Now, there's two ways. You can either locate the WANA exposed module on the Play Store, believe it or not, and download it for free, or without having to do that while you're still in this exposed installer APK, you can just go ahead and click on the search function up there at the top and just type in WANAM, just like so, and then click on search. And there it is right there. As you can see here, this application lets you customize your Samsung Android 4.2 plus stock firmwares. Of course, you're going to need to be rooted. Um, it should work with custom ROMs too, aka CyanogenMod and other AOSP based ROMs, but I highly, in capitals, recommend to use it with a stock ROM. So I agree with him there, and we're going to click on it. And as we go down, this is actually the feature list. And as you can see, it's a very feature packed list, feature list, um, tons and tons and tons of customizations for your device. Basically almost every single customization you'd find and a full uh, custom AOSP based ROM, but you'll be able to apply all these changes to just your straight up stock rooted Samsung Galaxy device. So we're going to go ahead and click on download. I've already downloaded it but for the purpose of this video. I'm going to go ahead and do, do it again. Um, now, as you can see, it's one uh, thousand nineteen hundred forty two 1942 kilobytes, so 1.9 megabytes in size. Uh, it should install or download quite quickly. There it is. So we're just going to go ahead and click on install. That'll install it, but we're not fully installed. We actually need to back out to the main menu here and then click on modules. And you'll notice it's now showing in modules, but it doesn't have the check mark next to it. So we've actually got to check it there. Um, now that it's checked, we actually have to reboot the device to apply those changes. So we're just going to go ahead and reboot the phone. And I'm going to go ahead and cut the video now and uh, boot it back up once the device is booted back up. Already now that the device is fully booted fully booted back up jump back into your app tray and swipe on over and You'll notice that right beside exposed installer is my WANM exposed module as a standalone APK So opening that bad boy up will ask you to grant super user permission go ahead and do so and as you can see here, we've got all the different categories that you could imagine. So everything from notification panels, lock screen, sound, system, phone, messaging, theme, security hacks, and of course, advanced. Jumping into notifications panel, of course, I'm not going to list out every single one, but um, you can see that we've got a ton <laughs> of sweet um, modifications in here to completely change around what's going on with your device. Uh, lock screen, all kinds of options in here as well. Hidden flashlight settings, um, other cool stuff. <laughs> sound. Um, unfortunately, in here, there isn't any sort of sound boost, um, but there is a bunch of different great things like disable loud volume warning. That's a really important one for me. Auto expand volume panel, disable the boot uh, sound uh, when you're booting up that 
stupid Samsung sound. That gets really annoying, especially for us modders when we're rebooting our devices so often. It gets that that, that sound gets old quick. Um, backing out of there, jumping back in a set a system now. Disable scrolling cache. Four-way reboot menu. Shit, what did I do there? Uh, Four-way reboot menu. So basically, you know, if we were to click on this and then I was to um, click on restart, it would just reboot my phone. But with that enabled, um, you can then go ahead and click on the restart menu and it'll actually give you like uh, recovery, fast boot, download mode, etc. cetera. Um, so that's really handy, obviously. Now, as you're, you can, you can select as many of these modifications you want through all these different um, categories here. Just remember to actually reboot your device after. You might even see up here in the notifications panel, it says reboot required when I'm exposed. Requires a reboot to apply changes. So you can do that as many times you want you can just try out one click it reboot your phone see if you like it if you don't then go ahead and uncheck it and then reboot again or you can select as many as you want and then just reboot once and it'll apply all those changes all at once so lots of really really great uh, modifications in here for you guys some really, really useful ones at that. Uh, anyways, guys, that is it. Like I said before, I'll have a link in the description below to the um, Exposed Framework APK. Uh, and you can go ahead and download that and just sideload it onto your device and then just search for WANAM um, in the search uh, set, uh, function and, um, and away you go. Anyways, guys, that's it for this one. Hopefully you found this video useful. If you did, click that likes button down below. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe for more videos like this in the future. But that's it. Thanks as always for watching, everybody. And we'll see you in the next one. Cheers, guys.